So hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm gonna be um, playing Elder Scrolls Arena. So I'm gonna start a new game and uh, let's get right into it. Uriel Septim Ted, Emperor of Camriel, stands with Cap. Okay, this they have been summoned by Agar. The Emperor is betrayed. The text moves way too fast. Uh, I don't know if I can read this quickly enough. And transported to the dimension of Tharn's choosing. And the font's also pretty weird. After a month of preparation, Tagger Tharn takes the throne. Rhea Silamen. 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 What? Okay, this is way too quickly for me to read. Manipulating the essence of magic, Tharn take, prepares to take the true Emperor's place. The. The Imperial Wizard wastes no time in gathering his servants and turning them into twisted counterparts of the guard of the Emperor's guards. Sorry about this. I couldn't um, read it properly because it was going too fast, but whatever. How do you wish to select your class? I can either generate it or select it. So I'm gonna go generate for now because it seems like it's a cooler option. Ten questions shall be asked that will determine the path of your destiny. All right. While exploring the woods with two other adventurers, you come across a small abandoned hut that seemed to have once belonged to a mage. Looking through the window, you see the remains of a laboratory. Many potions and scrolls still on the shelves. A fighter named Giotina, Giantia, Giotina. I'm not sure how to pronounce this because the font looks really weird and it's really small, so I don't know if I can pronounce it or not. Who thinks you are a cowardly sword, suggests his breaking into the shack and exploring. Another fighter named Hunter suggests his going to town to find out more information. You advise going to town? They are more familiar with this area and may have important information about this hut in the surrounding area. Breaking into the shack, but leaving one person on the outside just in case something goes wrong. Or C, daring Giotina to go in first. If there is a trap, she could trip it. Then you and Haggard Hunter can go in and explore it at your leisure. Okay, I'm not sure. Either it's A, B, or C. So, would I go to town? Would I break in? Or would I let Giotina go in first? So honestly, I'm a bit of a coward. I would go back to town. I am an absolute coward. I would go to town, definitely. You have a great aunt and a great uncle living in two different nearby villages, both of whom have asked their father to allow you to live with them for a few weeks. Your father knows where he plans to send you, but he is curious about your opinion. Given the two choices, would you rather live with your great aunt, a wise old woman of considerable wealth, living in luxury for a few weeks could not only be enlightening, it could also be very interesting. Living with your great uncle, a sick old man who has always been something of a stranger to you. A few weeks with him may be Oro- Ero- Okay, how the fuck do you pronounce this? Orodius. They're using fancy ass words that I don't even know. But he is in more need of your help than your great aunt. Or C, think of a way to divide your time between your great aunt and great uncle. So, um, based on what I'm seeing here, I'm- I seem to be- more familiar with the great aunt. The uncle is a sick old man, but I don't know who he is. I'm not really familiar with him. Or C, I could spend time with both of them. Uh, gotta go with D. I don't wanna, I don't wanna make anyone sad, you know? I don't wanna leave anyone out. I'll go see C now. It is a particularly grueling class with arms master Festal. He has been unreasonably demanding on everyone, including you. His criticisms seem to border on abuse, and it seems he has no positive comments to be made. He turns to berate you at the end of the class, and over his soul shoulders, he sees some the classmate put on an aggressive but non-poisonous snake in Festo's hand sack. Would you do nothing? The great arms master needs a dose of humility and this would be a great way of paying him back for all the misery he has put you through. B, tell Festal you see a snake creeping into his hand sack, but do not tell him which classmate did. Or C, immediately tell Festal what the classmate did. 
So I think this depends on my mood. If I'm in a pissed off mood, I might just do nothing. But if I'm in a good mood, I might let him know. So I'm gonna go with B for now. It's the most neutral decision. A boot you are in is suddenly caught in a tremendous whirlpool as the current reaches an impossible velocity. The little boat begins spinning, springing, leaks, and starts to sink under the vortex. You can see no way out that does not promise death. So you pick up a bucket and start bailing ferociously, hoping to keep the boat afloat just a few seconds more. Or B, sit back and accept your fate, it's choosing to die with a sense of decorum and nobility, not as a commoner who fears the unknown, definitely not B. I wouldn't just accept my death. So I'm gonna pick A, because uh, A sounds like something I would do. Your cousin has given you a very embarrassing nickname, and even worse, likes to call you it in front of your friends. You have asked him to stop, but he finds it very amusing to watch you blush. What do you do? A, make up an even a more embarrassing nickname for him and use it in front of him to make sure he learns his lesson. B, make up a story that makes your nickname a badge of honor instead of something humiliating. Or C, beat up your cousin. Okay, okay. Um, I don't think I would do any of this, honestly. Uh, it's either C or A, I don't know. Uh, you know what? Screw it, I'm doing C. Beat that bastard up. You are at weapons practice with Arms Master Festal. Oh, it's Arms Master Festal again. He is very old now, but he takes his teaching very seriously. In fact, you have heard him comment that it is all he has left in life. Wow. Today he has ceaselessly taunted you at every mistake. Finally, he asks you to attack him the same technique you did, in an effort to show you the proper execution. Do you do the technique just fast enough so that he can block it, or B, attack him at full speed, knowing that you could possibly score the hit and justify his unfair treatment of you by showing the class that you're actually doing it right? I think B is the most, uh, B is the most, I'm, I'm picking B because, like, the guy had it coming for him. Your mother sends you to the market with a list of food, of goods to buy, I swear. I cannot, I can't read today. Seriously, why can't I read today? After you finish, you find that by mistake, a shopkeeper has given you too much money in exchange for one of the items. You return to the store and give the keeper his hard earned money, explaining to him the mistake, pocketing the extra change, knowing that the shopkeeper in general tend to overcharge customers anyways. I'm picking B, because you know what? Mistakes happen all the time. You gotta live with it. I'm keeping the extra money. On a clear day, you choose, you chance upon a strange animal, its legs trapped in a hunter's claws nail. Judging from the bleeding, it will not survive long. Do you A, thrust your dagger, mercifully ending its life with a single thrust? B, do not interfere, interfere with the natural evolution of events? Or C, use herbs from the pack to put it to sleep, then free it somewhere. Okay. Depends if the animal is cute. If the animal is cute, I would probably free it. But if not, then I would probably just let it die. With that being said, most animals are not cute, so I'm gonna press B. While in town, the baker gives you a sweet roll. Ooh, sweet roll, boys! I remember sweet rolls from Skyrim. They're literally everywhere. In every single house that you enter, there's always a sweet roll. Delighted, you take it into a, an alley to enjoy, only to be intercepted by a gang of up three other kids your age. The leader demands a sweet roll, or else he and his friends will beat you and take it. Alright, I don't even need to read these. I'm gonna beat the shit out of the gang, okay? I don't fucking care. I'm not giving up my damn sweet roll. This is my damn sweet roll. So I'm gonna do C. C seems to be the best option. Thou wouldst survive longest as a spell, Thor. Wilt thou accept this as thy destiny? Yes, I do. I have no clue what a spell spell sword is. I'm assuming a spell sword is like some kind of magic sorcerer that uses a sword as well. So like a magic sorcerer. Wait, a magic swordsman or something. So yes, I will accept this. Sounds good. What will be thy name, spell sword? My name is Slime in Space. Choose thy gender. I am a slime. Where is the slime gender? Where is the fucking slime gender? Ooh, 
Where would thou, where would though, where would dost thou hail, slime in space, the spell sword? Hey, I can pick Skyrim. Is that Skyrim, right? I can pick Skyrim? The Nords. Hey, let's go, the Nords. That's where the Dovahkiin is from. Black Marsh. The Argonians. Okay, I'm picking the Argonians. I like Argonians. The Lizard People. Then thou wilt be known as the spell sword slime in space, who wilt call Black Marsh, land of the Agonians, his home. Yes, indeed. Know ye this also: thy race is born of the swamps. Thou host stayed them thyself from the open field, for thou art hunters of a different sort. Those who stalk thy prey in the still black water. Thy body and mind must be strong and intelligent if thou art to succeed as a spell sword. Go ye now in peace. Let thy fate be written in the Elder Scrolls. Damn, I look. I pretty look pretty badass if you ask me. So I'm a spell. I'm a spell sword. So I use both magic and um, physical attacks as well. It's like sword. I'm pretty much a generalist, basically. Gonna increase wisdom by a bit. Strength by a bit. Ooh, crown. You know what, I'm gonna pick a crown, because I'm king. Oh, do not fear for it is I, Rhea Silimon, slime in place. Listen to me, there are no others left to carry on this fight. You have been left in this cell to die. All right, I'm in. You have awakened the drip of water from somewhere above. The cell walls are covered in slime. It's covered in slime? Like me? As are the chains with ha which hang from above. Your eye, however, immediately goes to a strange ruby glint in the corner of your cell. What ruby? I don't see no ruby. Ooh, man, this gameplay is weird. I mean, this game came out in like the 19 something, so I can't judge. You are in the Imperial Dungeons. It is 12.14 in the afternoon. The day is Turdos, first of the hearth fire in the year 3E389. You are currently carrying 0 kg kilograms out of 111 kilograms. So where are these options? I have a campfire. You can choose the camp until fully healed. There's a fight option. Ooh, why do I have, why do I have skin colored uh, fists while well, my face is like gray? The lock has nothing to fear from you. Ooh, there's a key. You have found a ruby key. You open door with ruby key. Ooh, alright. The corridors here seem twisted and confusing. But Rhea's instructions were to go west, then south, to find the shift gate. So, go west, wait, go west, then south. Okay, I'm gonna put my fist down. <laughs> Oh god, what the hell is that? What's that? What the hell is this? Jesus Christ. The skittering of many tiny clawed feet can be heard on the wet uh, brownstone, whatever that said. I can't pronounce it. Of brownstones, yeah. Wet brown. It seems safe to rest in these niches. You think the rats or other creatures are. I can't. Uh, how do I. Do I jump it? This feels like a horror. Oh my god, I'm actually kind of horrified. This feels like a horror game. I can just hear sounds. I can barely see in the. Jesus Christ, what the hell am I hearing? So, this is a door. I'm assuming. Oh, it's not locked. Okay, okay, it's not locked. Is this gold? Is this gold? Oh, something's attacking me. Something's attacking me. Oh god. Oh, it's a rat. Damn rat. How do I fight the rat? Hello? Fight the rat. Oh god. Ow, ow, don't- Okay, I, I don't want- Oh, 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 oh fudge. Oh, frick. Uh, am I stuck down here now? Uh, where the hell am I going? Oh, I can't, I can't. But there's another rat. Oh god. There's another rat. There's two rats! Okay, ha okay, I, um... Okay, I'm out of here. I'm, I'm completely lost now. I'm completely ass lost. I swear, I'm gonna die the moment I get out. There are- Okay, I'm gonna die from literal rats. I'm so confused right now. I have no clue where the hell I am. Have I been here before? Is this the beginning area? Oh god. It's a rat. 
Uh, how do I fight the rat? And I die. With you died our last hope for Rust justice? Thorn is now free to do as he will. It saddens me to see the beautiful land of Tamriel rotting from within. Goodbye, slime in space. I wish. You peace in the afterworld. Alright, I'm back. Save game, just in case I die. Hopefully I won't die again. That was sad. I died miserably. I don't know how the combat works in this game either. I swear, this game is a horror game. This is not a freaking action game. It's a horror game. Okay, that rat ambushes in me from behind. How do I fight the rat? You see a rat. Okay, fight it. Fight it. Punch the rat. Punch the rat. Punch the damn rat. Why is this not working? Punch the damn rat. Okay, how do I fight the rat? Seriously. It's not gonna work if I can't fight the damn rat. Do I just run into it or something? I'm pressing on the rat. It's not dying though. Don't make me Google this up. I have no idea how to fight this rat. I just need to figure out how to like fight. I, can't, I don't know how to fight. Seriously, this stupid ass rat is causing me to die so many times. I'm gonna Google this. This is, I have no clue how to fight. Loads of Facebook posts and forum posts about why combat in arena is so difficult. I decided to answer this question, looking at how combo actually works in the old school. Yeah, I don't know how to swing at all. So. I know when I. I have no idea how to even attack a rat. So, I eventually worked out that the way that you fight very much comes down to mouse movements. Oh, so I actually have to okay. swing my mouse. Okay, okay, that's gonna be a bit difficult. Okay. So you actually have to swing your mouse or like swing it across the screen or something. Does that do anything? Oh, okay. Ah, okay. So basically what I did is I right click and I have to drag it across the screen. So I can't just tap it. Unlike the other games, you actually have to move it across your screen. And if you move your mouse to the right, to left, it moves your that specific hand. Okay, that's pretty clever. I, I like that. I like that. Now I can at least kill a single rat. If I die to a rat one more time, I will rage quit this game and stop playing for the rest of my life. I will not play this game ever again if I die to a rat. Where are the rats at? I dare you to come out. I know how to fight now, you damn rats. Damn rodents. There we go. Ooh. Oh yes, I finally am able to beat up a damn rat. Now I can camp for a bit. There are enemies nearby. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm gonna go back in here. I can't even go back. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's a damn goblin. It's a damn go- Ah, ah. Jesus Christ, I'm freaking out. Okay, I'm gonna kill this- Oh, Jesus. Kids. Punch, 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 punch. I killed a goblin. Ha. Killed a damn goblin. It had a staff. How do I open up my inventory? I got a staff. I can equip a dagger. I can only equip one of the two for now. So I'm gonna uh, use the staff instead. But the staff seems like it has long range. Fire dart. Damages health. One to two points of damage to health. Okay, light heal. Yep, as I thought, it heals you. Okay. Now that I actually have a weapon now and I can get started. I have nothing to fear except for the fact that I can't see five meters ahead of me. This place is so dark, man. So I have to go south and then west, but south is a dead end, west is a dead end. Either I go into the water, kill so many door creaks, I will ignore the fact that there's a door being opened somewhere. Oh, it's another goblin. These goblins come out of nowhere. Yeah, the combat's pretty cool, because like you actually have to swing it in the right direction or else they'll block. Your, your attack. So that's pretty cool. Uh, oh. I'm assuming I have to go into the water now or something. Okay, I'm gonna fight you now. Oh wait, pull out my weapon. Die. Die. Am I, I'm out of magic, so I can't heal you. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. There's another one right behind me. Jesus Christ. I swear, even though this is not a horror game, it's very scary. <laughs> At least for me, because I'm a coward. I'm an absolute coward. Oh, jeez, there's two. Wait, can I attack it from the water? Oh, oh, it's attacking me. 
I'm just gonna turn around now and just gonna leave. Do you see the amount of health I have left? I literally have a sliver of health. I want to just camp somewhere and heal. It says you see it seems safe to rest in these niches. You think the rats or other creatures may not smell you. So, okay. There are enemies nearby. I was able to heal for a bit, but Oh god. Oh Jesus Christ. I just got sneak attacked. What the hell? Who the fuck was that dude or lady or whatever that person was? God, this game is, woof. This is one sure hell one of a game. This game's pretty punishing. Okay, they're here. Hopefully I can steal their weapon again. Uh, is there any more goblins that I can steal their weapons from? I need a steal weapon. I don't want to fight with just my fist. Can I loot this corpse? Can I loot this corpse? I can! I should have done that from the very beginning. Oh, I can't equip this weapon. Oh. Fine, whatever. Whatever. Or at least have a dagger, at least. It's gonna be hard to fight these guys because I'm literally in the water. Fire dog. Not enough spell points. What? Ah, let me through. Let me through. Don't make me fight you. Don't make me kill you. This is intense combat right now. Oh, there's another one. Intense combat. Intense combat. Intense combat. Die, 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 you son of a bitch. Oh, there's- I'm losing HP still. I'm still losing HP. What is attacking me? What is attacking me? There's another goblin. Oh, Jesus. I'm dead. Okay, whatever. I'm not gonna lose determination. I need to keep going. I, I've beaten Dark Souls. This game won't be the game to make me rage quit. This game will not make me rage quit. I have beaten games like Dark Souls, I've beaten Sekiro. I'm not gonna rage quit to this game, all right? Wait, let me heal real quick, I think I can heal. There's a lot of goblins. There's a lot of goblins. There's too many goblins. Wait, why is this, what? God. Oh god, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Okay, I, I just got, I've got to go on a killing spree. Killing spree, killing spree. Killing spree. Killing spree. Did I kill everyone? Is everyone dead? I just massacred everyone. These guys have nothing usable. Nothing usable. Come on, they have a weapon. And these guys apparently have nothing. Even though I can literally see a weapon right there. I can't heal? How does magic work too? Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh my. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna run past it. Run, run. Where'd that goblin come from? Where the hell did that- Where in the world did that goblin come from? Okay, I'm gonna s I'm gonna heal- Oh my- oh, Fucking piece of sh- Oh my lord. Why is this the game that's giving me jump scares? Oh my god. Like, I, I was- I did not expect the goblin to follow me there. I actually did not expect the goblin. Uh- Climb, climb, uh, climb up, just gotta climb up. Let me throw, let me throw, let me massacre you guys. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, there's another one. There's more. Okay, of course there's more. What am I talking about? There's, of course there's more. There's always more. Okay, I know that there's gonna be more bombs coming from every direction. I'm so scared right now. They could literally come from any direction. This place is an actual maze. Come on, this 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 time, at least give me something. A buckler. Found gold. I found staff. It's a buckler. Shield! Ooh. Oh, these niches are safe. Oh, I can rest here. Oh, this is definitely not safe to rest here. It is de what the hell are they saying? It said they said it was safe to rest here, but it's not. It's clearly not. That goblin just that was a tiny ass goblin. It says you are safe to rest here. Clearly, I was not safe since I was just attacked. It says it seems to be safe in these niches. You think the rats or any other creatures cannot smell you with the daft that runs so close to this room? What a fucking liar. They just lied to me, straight to my face. Okay, I don't know if this, I'm pretty sure this staff is pretty good. It looks like it's good range. Oh, I see a goblin through the walls, or behind the walls. Ugh. Ugh. Haha, <laughs> I 
feel powerful. Okay, but I just want to rest, man. Just let me, just let me rest. Please, just let me rest. I'm begging you. I don't want to die again. Just let me rest. Let me heal. Let's go! Ah, uh, I leveled up. I have no idea how I leveled up, but I did. No idea how. So I guess I'm gonna level up my strength and my endurance for now. Because right now, I'm not really using magic. I'm relying on my strength most. Oh, there's another rat. There's two rats. Okay, I like this weapon. It has good range. Huh. Oh, uh, what? Red eyes are glimmering. Where? Where? Uh, I'm, I'm, I don't want to move right now, but okay. Die, you damn rat. Don't you dare scare me like that. Oh, there's more rats. Have I been here? Oh, there's a rat. Oh, I don't have my weapon out. I don't have my weapon out. Just die. Stay away from me. Just let me... S Please, just let me... Just let me heal. Let me heal, bro. Okay, how do I heal? None of my abilities are working. I don't have enough spell points. Can I heal? Can I heal? Please. Can I heal? Can I heal? Oh my god. Oh my god. Finally, I healed! I healed! Oh, hallelujah! I see you have strengthened your arm and your mind, slime in space. It is time we began this journey! This is the Staff of Chaos. The one item that will open the door between this world and the dimension to which the Emperor has been banished. Thorn used this item to destroy my corporeal form. When I tried to warn the council, he knew that the Staff of Chaos was nigh indestructible, having been made from the essence of the land itself. But in that, he found the key. As the land is split, so did he shatter the staff into eight perfectly formed pieces. These he scattered across the realm. I have been able to divine the location of the first piece, a place called Fang Lair. It is said that this Fang Lair was originally built by the dwarves of Kragan. Legend has it that it has been a great w w worm drove the dwarves from their home into the dragon's teeth and took the lair from the cells. I only wish I knew the exact location. Perhaps there are sages or scholars who would know of this place. Somewhere in the dark depths lies the first piece of uh, the Staff of Chaos. I wish you well, Slime in Space. I do not think Thorn knows of your escape, but I can do little else in this form. I have tried to obscure your identity with a spell, but I do not know how well it will hide you. Take care, for Thorn may be searching. Go forth with the blessings of the true Emperor and myself. I have no clue who this lady is. I'm pretty sure she's some queen or something, or some emperor who got betrayed. But honestly, I'm not sure who she is. Woo! Woo! I, I'm just, above all else, I am so happy to have healed. I'm back to full health at full strength. Thank the lord. Oh, there's another goblin though. Too bad I'm at full strength now, you loser. Now I can beat the ever-living day crap out of all the goblins that come at me. What the hell is this? What is this? This looks sus. This is like the blue sussy amogus. A voice that booms in your head. Look upon the pages marked as the known spell book in your manual and answer. What is the cost of the witch's curse? I have no clue, man. I have no clue. What the fuck? The game just crashed. What? Uh, I don't know what was supposed to happen there. Alright, I have no clue why the game crashed earlier, but whatever. Man, old games are- they're, they're on another level. These games have really good atmosphere. Like, their sound design is spooky. These games are spooky. Spoopy, one might say. A battle axe? I don't know if I can take- I don't know if I can use that, but... I'm not sure how the weapon system works. Can I like check it's like in oh I right click it and I can see what it does. Condition new. Alright, then this battle staff is undoubtedly better than all the other stuff. Now I'm even stronger now. 
these monsters are fucked. Okay, I now that I've gotten used to the game, I just need to figure out where I need to go. Is the shimmering field of the ship gate. Okay, this is the ship gate. But I have no clue. It cra this thing crashed my game really. A voice booms in your head. Look upon the pages marked as the known spell book in your manual and answer. What is the cost of wizard law? I don't know. What's the cost of here? 34? I don't know. What? I think, does the game crash on purpose? If I answer incorrectly, do I, does the game crash? Is that it? Is that what's going on? Because I have no clue why the game's crashing. Okay, let me search that up. Okay, I searched it up and apparently it's supposed to crash. Because this is, it's supposed to prevent copyright or something. So this is supposed to happen. I'm probably gonna have to Google up the answers or something because I wouldn't know the answers. Not where the game is. Instead, this is where a goblin is. Die! 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 Ha! Pathetic. You think you could defeat me, the great slime in space? Why does that sound so cringe when I say that? God damn. Okay, so like, um, apparently this is like a anti copyright system. Because, like, back then, this game came out as a physical copy, and it probably came with a manual book. And, uh, since I got this game on my computer, I don't have the manual book, so I'm probably gonna have to Google it up. This isn't me cheating. I literally have no way of knowing the answer, unless I have the thingy the jiggy. Is that it? Oh, that worked, that worked, that worked. Okay, that worked. It was a little annoying how that happened, but whatever, it works now. Hello, Argonian. Hello? What the hell? I have no clue what the hell just happened, but I'm just gonna- Oh my! These guys are aggressive! Okay, they were not friendly. They were not friendly, okay, they were not friendly. I was thinking that maybe I could, like, talk with them, be a reasonable human being, and not just attack me out of nowhere. But fine, I'm gonna attack you back. Stupid son of a Come back here, I'm murdering you guys all. Wait, you can't hurt them? Where am I? What am I supposed to do? Okay, so, this is like a village or something, I suppose. Can I, can I talk to you? Who are you? You can call me Antagor Zalas. I am a toll collector. You know, I make certain proper taxes are being paid. Where is... In. in. What the hell? Oh my god, there's a lot of inns. The blue dungeon. Ah, you'll see that north of here. So I think I'm in the main world now. Like, like during the beginning of the game, I was stuck in a dungeon. So, and I think this is like the actual world now. But I hate how you literally cannot see five feet in front of you. Like, like the view is so bad. So I have no clue where the hell I'm going. Damn, this guy is, this guy's hot. Got those, those abs and those muscles. Mm. Might want to cover up that, cover that up. Uh, I don't know where I'm going now, but okay. I'm just gonna look for someone to speak to. Can I speak to you? Damn, she's, damn. It's the same dialogue, oh, okay. Do they all have the same dialogue? I am Matemias Agodius, the town idiot. You know, I suffer from a melody that brings down, that brings great amusement to others. Bang layer. Nearest end. Okay. Give me a moment, I'll show right on your map how close you are. Madanamis Agidia says. I do not know how to pronounce those names, but okay. Where is the, this should be the end, right? This is the end. You enter the blue dungeon, and your frozen senses revive the smell of fresh baked bread, the sound of patrons laughing with the serving wench. Hello, mister. A highly aggressive character called Hibako nervously draws. Wait, this is the narrator. Draws you aside as you approach the bar. Good Argonian, if you could use 32 gold coins. Hear me up, there is a certain person in rare weaponry store who has something on my seat leaves. An invitation. I loathed this invitation a few weeks ago, and now I've discovered my Sieg is returning to Sea Spring early on Turdo's 
third of Morning Star. Would you get this invitation for me? You would have my gratitude and 32 coins. By the lonely one, the good spirits must have delivered you indeed. I am relying on you, slime in space. Do not let me down. Sneak into a room. Oh, oh what am I gonna do sneak into rooms, huh? What am I doing? Are you trying to sneak into a room? You successfully got into a room. The Emperor's Suite is yours for the next 24 hours. Hello there. Womp Devil. Wait, I forgot how many stu- Did they just call me a stupid Argonian adventurer? Decent turn, eh, Argonian? I call that torn sheesh brain roll of block mush. Putting on these weird voices is killing my throat. My throat is dying now. I usually don't speak for this long, so uh, when I speak for a long period of time, my voice just dies. <laughs> Man, this is cool. For a game that came out in the 19-somethings, this game is really cool. Like, massive open world, like, you can basically talk to everyone, too. I love the Elder Scrolls series, this game is great. Well, uh, I have to get something back for this guy, right? Uh, you have agreed to get back an invitation from Rare Weaponry Store and bring it back to the Blue Dungeon by Turda's Third of Morningstar. But I don't know where the Rare Dungeon whatever thing is. I have to ask for directions. Rare Weaponry Store, right here. Now, I might be wrong, but I'd look southeast. Okay, southeast. This house is colored. Is this it? This might be it. This might be it. You're given a cup of hot cider as you enter the rare equipment store, which you accept gratefully. Happy to be inside on such a gloomy winter morning. You look over the weaponry and other merchandise proudly displayed in a case all along the wall. Wow, these people are nice. They gave me a cider. God, this guy looks fucking badass. He has like a red glow around him as he's like forging a sword. Yeah, I'm in the right place. We're at the wear weaponry store. That's where I am, right? I just need to talk to this guy. This guy is fucking massive. Look at him. Look at this guy. He's massive. Uh, steel. Or should I steal? Uh, should I do it? You are unsuccessful, oh, goddamn. Oh, this oh! Um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please forgive me, please forgive me, please. I didn't save! When was the last time I saved? When was the last time I saved? Oh my god, when was the last time I saved? When was the last time I saved? When was the last time I saved? Oh god, oh god, I'm screwed. Oh. God damn, man. I was so immersed in the game that I forgot to save. And then I ended up just fucking myself over. Well, okay, now, at least now I know what I'm doing. I need to go to the blue dungeon store again. The blue dungeon inn or something. I need to go to the blue dungeon inn, take a quest, and then uh, find my way to the blue to the whatever place I need. Who is this guy? This guy looks like a Satan worshiper. He even has horns. What the fuck are these Naruto hand jutsus he's doing? Like ba 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 ba. Do a shadow clone jutsu right now. Okay, I'm gonna ask you. How dare you just walk past me? Can you stop? Can you stop? I need to ask you something. Hello? Stop, thief. I wasn't trying to steal. I wasn't trying to steal. I wasn't trying to steal. I was just trying to ask for directions. I was just trying to ask for directions. I was just trying to ask for directions. I was just trying to ask. Jesus Christ, these guys are unkillable. These guys are unkillable. These guys are unkillable. Bro, what the hell? These guys are literally unkillable. These guards are super powerful. I just need to ask for directions. Please, can you stop? Can you kindly stop for me? Stop, thief. Bruh, what the hell's going on? I just want to ask for directions. I just want to ask for directions. I'll stop, look... thief. Wait, what? What? I didn't even touch anyone. Thief, what'd I do? Should be somewhere around here. Is this it? This should be it. This should be it. Yeah, boy, this man's glowing. Chad, this is this guy is Chad. He he has he's emitting Chad energy. This man is the pure embodiment of Chad. I'm done. I'm running back to the end. What the hell are you 
shaking like that. What the hell? Are you trying to, like, seduce me or something? What the hell is going here? I have no clue why the fuck she's shaking like that. Why are you shaking like that? That's disturbing. That's very disturbing. Looks like you're having a seizure. Right, is there anyone nearby that can ask for directions? Hello, anybody? This place is deserted. Massive fucking city, but there's literally nobody here. Alright. I heard you had picked up invitation from Rare Weaponry Store, but I admit, I feared you wouldn't get back here on time. As promised, here are your 32 gold points, uh, gold pieces. I'm very grateful. Thank you, noble Argonian. You're welcome. This quest took me like an hour, or half an hour at least. Ooh, I leveled up. Let's go, boys. Let's go. I want to get both my strength and my wisdom to 60, so I'm going to go with this for now. Seems good. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment. This is cringe, but please do leave a like and comment and subscribe. Leave a like and comment. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe.